In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to animate Blender rigs using BVH files. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Before going into Blender, there's a few things that you will need to do. So the first thing, you need to go into this Diffeomorphic web page. I've left a link for this in the description below. And what you're looking for is the stable version. This one's version two. Select the link. And then just select download. I'm not gonna go into the motions of downloading this. So that's the first thing you'll need to do. And then the next page you'll need to go to is this page here, CG speed motion capture. Again, I've left a link and I use these here motion builder friendly version now you'll see a lot of files here so I would just select um, a couple to download the there's a couple of good ones here 136 to 40 so again if you select this you can download these files so once you've done all that a couple of things you'll need to do open up your file browser and decide where you're going to save your BVH files uh, what folder you're going to use so typically I would use say documents and create a folder and let create I don't know call it BVH so you need to create a new folder then go down to your downloads and then you where you've downloaded your um, your BVH file just extract this into your new folder BVH and then just select folder and this should extract I'm not going to do that because I've already gone through this motion. I'm obviously assuming that you've got a little bit of computer savviness. So the only other thing I would point out is once you've got some of your folders in, you'll see something called CMU mocap index spreadsheet. Open this up and just have a look the descriptions this is the only way you'll get some idea of what they do without trying every single one so I'm going to use I think it's 136 somewhere 136 24 normal walk so once you've gone through all of those motions let's close everything down you can go over to blender couple of things you'll need to do if you haven't set blender up already so if you come up to edit and preferences make sure the add-on box is selected and first of all type in the word rig or IG and you'll get some options here select an animation corrective shape keys object um, skinny foil rig and rigging rig and make sure you've got ticks in the box says and then next thing you might want to do is type in the word motion and place a tick next to import exports biovision motion capture and then finally remove this select install and go to the folder where you downloaded your retargeter so that was in my downloads and it'll probably say something like retarget bvh select this and then select install now because i've already installed this it doesn't flash up but you'll find it in the add-ons it will actually say animation BVH retargeter make sure you put a tick here in this box here close this down 
make sure it's actually installed properly just press N and you should see something called BVH okay press N again to close this down now to prove it works I'm going to just hold down shift followed by A and then next to armature I'm going to select I don't know human meta rig I'm going to roll my middle mouse to sort of get a good view this won't work currently at present you have to make a change so just hit tab to go into edit mode and select these two bones here and hit delete and delete the bones back to object mode make sure the rig selected press N select BVH and then load um, load and retarget go to your folder where you saved your BVH file and decide on what you're going to use so we'll go for this one here say and this one wait for it to load select OK and then press play hopefully you should have successfully animated a blender rig now over the next few weeks I should do a bit more on this um, animating with rigs some of the problems um, I'll, I'll show you how to re um, position and rescale the bones especially once you've placed them in um, a character they can create problems I'll also do something using make human because that can be a bit of a problem some of the things you have to change in make human um, the arms collide and everything with the body but you can change that and edit them but there is a, a certain way of doing it so hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers